What's up guys, Figs here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. But today guys, we're going to be playing some Black Ops 3. You guys know how it is. We got a little bit left for this triple play. We got 90 wins. We only need 10 more. Can't wait till this is finally done. Once this is finally done, I'm going to be very happy. But today we've got some stuff I want to talk about for Call of Duty World War 2. Because you guys know that game comes out in less than a month. Very, very hyped about it. Some shit got leaked, boys. Seriously, some shit got leaked. And you know, we're going to be seeing these kind of things. We're going to be seeing these kind of leaks because the game is coming out in less than a month. All the stuff ever since the PC beta was released, people are able to go into the files for Call of Duty World War II. Kind of mess around, see what's in it. They could reveal some more guns. They could reveal more maps. But they actually leaked all the kill streaks for Call of Duty World War II. Now, these aren't confirmed but these are leaked and to be honest i feel like these are gonna be the actual streaks for call of duty world war 2 i'll leave a link in the description go check it out for yourself i'm not gonna put the screenshot up of it or something but i will leave it in the description so you can check on it for yourself these leaks look legit guys these do look very legit if these are the real streaks for call of duty world war 2 i'm gonna be very happy because they're just gonna feel like classic streaks from black ops 1 like i've always wanted classic streaks that just go ham i'm just excited boys I'm, I'm really excited that they're gonna have these streaks in the game i feel like the new kill streak is confirmed because it is called a v2 rocket that's what i think it is that's what i think the v2 rocket is i think it's gonna be the new kill streak for call of duty world war 2 and if it is i've wanted a new kill streak for call for a call of duty game because especially for world war 2 it makes perfect sense because obviously world war 2 was the first ever nuclear bomb that was ever used in war so that would make a lot of sense if a new kill streak was in call of duty world war 2 and i really hope there is because that would make it a lot better because if you guys didn't know the best selling call of duty game is mw2 and the most fun call of duty game is mw2 and what made it more fun it was when people had the nuke kill streak i remember people would always run around try to get those nukes and I really hope Call of Duty World War II has a nuke kill streak because I will be very, very happy. But these streaks, they seem legit. There's going to be attack dogs. There's going to be like carpet bombs. All this kind of stuff. I'm just really, really excited that they're going to have at least some fun streaks for Call of Duty World War II. Because in order for a Call of Duty game to be very fun, there needs to be very good streaks. Like streaks that go ham. Guns have to be really good that are very balanced out. And that's why to me, Treyarch are probably the best at it because their streaks are always fun. The guns are always good. And Modern Warfare 2 had really good streaks. I loved Modern Warfare 2 streaks. They probably had the best streaks out of any of the other Call of Duties. Even better than Black Ops 2 and 1. Actually, it's better than all the Black Ops series. MW2 had really good streaks. If they could put really good streaks in a new Call of Duty game, because, you know, that's what really makes people enjoy Call of Duty. They want streaks that go ham. They don't want streaks that sucks. Like, how many people do you guys know that say, yeah, I want bad kill streaks in a Call of Duty game? Like, you're not going to hear that. And I've always wanted this score streak to be in a Call of Duty game ever since they've introduced it to Black Ops 1 and all that. Because Black Ops 1, they introduced the VSAT or it was the Orbital VSAT. I don't know if they called it the VSAT in Black Ops 1. Ever since the Black Ops series, they've introduced the VSAT, the Blackbird, the Orbital VSAT, however you want to call it. Call of Duty World War 2 might have that streak if this... If the score streak list is actually real, it's going to have an orbital VSAT, like an advanced UAV. I've always wanted this in every Call of Duty game. I think that should be a necessary streak in every Call of Duty game. Uh, orbital VSAT or like an advanced UAV, that's 100% a streak that really needs to be in this game, in Call of Duty World War II. That streak needs to be there. And for every other Call of Duty moving forward, I really do hope this score streak list is actually legit. Because if it is, I'm going to be very happy with these streaks that they're showing right now. Because these streaks look insane. Just because they look insane, I hope they're really strong. I hope they're not weak kill streaks. I just hope they're really strong kill streaks that really go in. Especially the higher ones. I hope those are really worth it. I hope the high kill streaks are really worth for how much they're worth. Anyways, hopefully these streaks are real. Hopefully this is a confirmed list. Because if this isn't, I'll be sad, guys. I'm going to be really sad. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like on it. Rate the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video, really just help the channel grow. Thank you guys so much once again for watching it. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, guys, this is a leaked list. It's not confirmed. Hopefully it is confirmed, but if it is, I'll be very happy. So will a lot of other people. A lot of people have been wanting a nuke kill streak. Since Call of Duty World War II is in World War II, hopefully a nuke kill streak is in it. it. It should be. It makes tons of sense if it really is. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please be sure to turn on post notifications so that you guys when I upload. I'd really appreciate that a lot. Have a good Sunday, guys. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out, guys.